Recently, Real World Test Drive got into a real world problem. We combined a high performance car with low profile tires and a surprise snowstorm. Which got us thinking does anyone buy snow tires anymore? Does anyone who isn't old enough to remember the Berlin Wall coming down old enough to remember snow tires going on? Richard Spinard is a former race car driver and current spokesperson for Michelin. Richard is also an expert in winter driving, so we went to Montreal to talk to him. When it's colder than 44 degrees Fahrenheit, the winter tire will give you better performance. It will be a safer tire. Um, here in Quebec, we have harsh winter, um, and we actually have a law now from f November 15, you must use winter tires. In the tire industry, they don't call them snow tires anymore. They call them winter tires because they say the temperature has just as much of an effect on your tires as snow or ice does. Here we have a winter tire cut, and you can see that there's a lot of the development in this tread. We have the blocks, which are fairly big, but also we have the sipes. We have with the Michelin tire here, micro pump to suck the water out of the uh, out of the tire, and uh, and and also if you touch it, you can see that it's a much softer compound, which makes it much more performance during the winter conditions. Richard says that if you're watching this and you think, well, I have all-wheel drive or I have four-wheel drive, so I don't need winter tires, Richard says, yeah, think again. I love all-wheel drive. I think uh, it's, it's great during the winter. Uh, it gives you better performance taking off and going over a hill. Um, but in return, it doesn't give you any advantage under braking conditions, under cornering. Uh, it, it's actually sometimes worse. So, you, you know, all-wheel drive doesn't replace the need of winter tires. That's very important to know that. Richard also says if you buy winter tires when you buy your car, it evens out in the end because you're using your summer tires less, so there's less wear and tear. By the way, you should also buy a second set of wheels while you're at it. Hey, you have more than one pair of shoes, don't you? In New York, we talked to the product manager of Pirelli, Gianluca Grioni. Every tire uh, is meant to have its own characteristics. So we have a summer tires that uh, we mostly use in Europe, and uh, is uh, meant to have more grip, more performance for the high powerful car that they are in the market. We have an all-season tires that help the people to go through all the season, like uh, the, 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 the spring, the, the winter, the, the summer, and uh, don't want to change tires. For people who are storing their winter tires or their summer tires, there's a proper way to do it. Who knew? The best way to store a winter tire is mounted on the wheels with the pressure inflated. You can store it in a dark place, make sure they're not under the sun, and uh, you can use it for the next season. And if you don't have a garage or you live in a nearly closet-free condo, what are you supposed to do with the other set of tires? Most of the dealers in the Northeast offer you a, uh, a way to storage and to keep the tires for you. So when you go in with your summer tires, they're going to keep the summer tires and mount the winter tires for you. And uh, when you're done, when the season is done, you go back and they replace the winter tires with, with the summer tires that you left behind. And you don't have to be an interior designer to know that you're too old to use them for end tables. Speaking of design, Pirelli has you covered. Now, you know, a lot of people think of tires are just tires, the things that are on your car. Pirelli sees them as a fashion statement. And not only do they see them as a fashion statement, they've actually made fashion out of them. Like you can see the clothing behind me. This is a Pirelli tire and a Pirelli boot here. But being an Italian company, of course, it's a high-heeled boot. They do make them in flats, though. But like the tires, the clothes don't come cheap. Those jackets are about a grand each. By the way, Pirelli's slogan is, power is nothing without control. They've also inked a deal to be the official tire supplier of Formula One racing, which is as popular in Europe as NASCAR is in the States.
And Michelin still has the Michelin Man and the Michelin Guides, which help you decide which restaurant to drive to. Oh, and by the way, the Michelin Man made his first appearance in 1898. He was originally hoisting a beer mug and saying, Cheers, Michelin tires, drink up obstacles. Michelin's new slogan is more socially acceptable. The right tire changes everything. Now you know. In Montreal, I'm Grant Winter for Real World Test Drive.